Yahtzee FT10 showing how to connect the LDG AT200 Pro 2. Do this at your own risk, it works with my setup, it's not ideal, uh, it's a workaround until LDG release a, an interface cable. First thing you're going to need is the LDG Y AAC control cable. The black jack plug of the Y ACC interface cable is for the 1 8 jack marked radio on the rear of the LDG AT200 Pro 2. The red jack plug is for the RAM stroke ALC socket on the rear of the Yatsi FT10. Unfortunately the LDG YAC cable will not power the ATU so the LDG200 Pro O2 will need an external power source. Uh, power requirements 11 to 15 volts DC 500 milliamp maximum 750 during tuning so you will need to power it independently. The FT7110 menu settings press the function button on the radio then we need to go to operation settings and in general which you should really be on we need to change tuner lean port select to linear and tuner type select to external that's the only settings that you need to adjust to initiate a tune now the menu has been set the tune button on the FT710 no longer has any function we must use the tune button on the AT200 Pro. Usual procedure, choose your frequency um, that you wish to transmit on. What I would strongly suggest is that you go into the function menu, select RF power, reduce your power to 10 watts while doing the tuning. To initiate the tune, we now simply press the tune button and we've got a match of 1.3 to 1 there. We can now up our power to what we would normally transmit on. I normally stay about 50 watts. And we could do a quick test. Just make sure there's nobody on that frequency. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Mark Zero Whiskey Papa Sierra. CQ, CQ. This is Mark Zero Whiskey Papa Sierra looking for a radio check. To summarise, reduce the power of the FT10 to about 10 watts before you initiate any tuning cycle. Tuning is initiated by pressing the tune button on the LDG AT200 Pro. If the tune is successful then obviously just up your TX power. This is not ideal but it's a workaround until, as I said previously, LDG release a cable or some third party company where it both powers the antenna tuner and you can use the tune button on the radio but for now it, it suits my purposes hope this helps